at this week's Zurich Classic of New Orleans, the only two-man team event on the schedule. We're going to crown a team champion, and they're going to take home a whole lot of money. But the prize money payout this week looks a little bit different than we're used to seeing on the PGA Tour. I'm Ryan Balaji with Golf News Net, and we're here to talk about the winner's share prize money payout and how that money is doled out for the Zurich Classic of New Orleans, played at TPC Louisiana in Avondale, Louisiana, which is about 30 minutes outside of the city center of New Orleans. We started the week with the only event on the PGA Tour schedule that is a two-person event that awards FedEx Cup points. The President's Cup is considered an official event, but doesn't award FedEx Cup points structured differently, of course. But we started with 82 player teams this week, a field of 160 players. And after each team played in each of the two formats they played this week, which is alternate shot and better ball, also known as four ball, they made a cut to the top 33 teams and ties. And the reason they did that is because each week on the PGA Tour at individual events, there's a cut to the top 65 and ties. And so they wanted to get as close to that number as they could while accommodating two person teams. So 33 times two is 66. Top 33 teams and ties make the cut. The final two rounds, they repeat the schedule. So they started with better ball on Thursday. They have that on Saturday. On Friday, they have alternate shot. They will have that on Sunday. And the combined score of those four rounds, the best team under par, will win the tournament this week. Now, this is an $8.9 million purse. So this is nothing to sneeze at. This is a good chunk of money. But the prize money that's paid out this week is a little bit different in style compared to most weeks on the PGA Tour. Typically on the PGA Tour, you get 18% of the purse if you are the winner as an individual and 10.8% for second place. This week, a little bit different. So what the PGA Tour does at this tournament, because there are two players, they take the money that would have been paid out to the first place player in an individual purse of this size and the second place money that would have been paid out in an individual tournament of this size Combine it and average it. And that's what each player on the winning team gets. So the winning team this week will get $2,572,100. And between them, they will each get $1,286,050. And that prize money goes down from there. So first and second combined from an individual event and half, that's what the winning team gets each. Third and fourth place money gets combined, and that goes to the second place team divided up in even portions to combine for the players that are on that team and so forth and so on down the leaderboard. So each team's going to get paid, but they're going to get paid a combined amount and then they split that evenly between themselves. So same thing applies to the FedEx Cup points too. The winning team would normally get, uh, if they were individuals, 500 FedEx Cup points as an individual. You get 300 for second. Well, they combine them for this event, so both players on the winning team get 400 FedEx Cup points.